Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna take a better look at range and see what we can do. But right now, just make sure you understand what this loop is doing. It's gonna give us a number zero through nine and print a space after each number. And then it's gonna end off with a new line just to get everything by itself on a line like so. So after that nine, it prints an empty statement which brings this down to the next line. So what I wanna do now is I actually want to pass in an extra value into range. And you can see some of the possibilities here. So right now we said range stop. This is going to give us a value from zero to that number, but we could also say start and then stop. So in that situation, the first argument we pass in is going to tell it where to start. And then the second argument is going to tell it where to stop. So if we wanted to go from 10 to 20, let's say, well, we run this and let's see what we get. We get 10 all the way up to 19. So similar to the way slicing works, the first one here, the 10, is inclusive. It is included in the output. The second one here is exclusive. It is not included in the output, it stops at 19. So this is still printing 10 numbers, it's just starting at zero, but now everything is prefixed with a one. So we got zero, one, all the way up to nine. So if you wanna practice this, why don't you try creating a range from 231 included all the way up to 500 included. If you wanna know the answer, it's this right here. You would say 231 and you would stop at 501 because the one is not included. So it stops at 500 and includes it and then 501 is excluded. Running this now, it's probably gonna look a little bit funny but it does the trick. So we start at 231, that's included and it ends at 500. Next up, there is a third argument you can use with range and that's what we're gonna be talking about in the next video.